Okay, we're going to look at collinearity, which is something that has been previously looked at in higher maths during the straight line. Let's just go for a quick definition to get going. So, collinearity exists when points lie on the same straight line. So it's a very short definition, straight to the point, and it's true. Okay, so collinearity exists when points lie in the same straight line. A good example, a real life example of something that exhibits collinearity would be if you skimmed a stone across the surface of the water, what will happen is the stone will pop up and create these points in the water, but it will do so in a straight line fashion. All right. Now, to prove collinearity, there's two things that we need to we need to show that there is a direction of travel which is parallel. So, if I said, for example, that the first point of contact in the water was A, and then the second point of contact was B, and then the third point of contact was C, then for collinearity to exist, well, if you think about that skim and stone, it's going to go in a straight line. It's not going to unless it collide with something that's not going to do that, it's going to go on the straight line. So the first thing that we need to do then is to prove that the gradients are equal. So the first thing that we really need to show is that the gradient of AB would be equal to the gradient of BC. Now in the context of vectors, the way we're going to do that is by showing that they are parallel through multiplication of a scalar. So if we find that AB can be written as a constant multiplied by BC, then it will do that job. Okay. The second thing that we need is we need a common point. Now, why is that important? Well, you could have a stone getting skimmed as such and another one going in the exact same direction, but that could be a different stone and it's not got a same point of contact, so that's not the same straight line. So they might go in the same direction, but it's two different straight lines. By showing that I've got a point of contact, that means it's on the same straight line. Now remember that the point one, which is re related to multiplication by a scalar, what that does show, that shows that vectors are travelling in the same direction. For example, 2, 4 is equal to 2 lots of 1, 2, and 2, 4 and 1, 2 would have a similar pathway in terms of being parallel. Okay, two along and four up and one along and two up. Right, so let's prove the first point that we can get this relationship of multiplication between a scalar between AB and BC. So let's try an example one. Okay, so example one, let's go for prove that the points A, 2, 4, B, 8, 6, and C, 11, 7, are collinear. Okay, so the first move is, let's find the components of the position vector AB, which is going to be B minus 8, so that's going to be 8, 6, minus 2, 4. 8 minus 6 is 6, and 6 minus 4 is 2. OK, that's the position vector AB. Let's now investigate BC. OK, so BC is going to be C minus B, and that is 11, 7 minus 8, 6. 11 take away is 3. 7 take away 6 is 1. Now what we can clearly see then is AB is equal to 2 lots of the vector BC. Right, so that's the relationship of multiplication by scalar. Now conversely you might write that kind of back to front and say that BC is equal to a half of AB but if you think of it it's really same, the same thing. Okay, It just depends whether you're going to take the perspective of starting AB or BC. OK, so that's point one. Now, what I would also say then is we can clearly see that there is a common point. So, AB equals 2BC and there is a common point. 
be therefore points lie on a straight line and collinearity exists and it's important to communicate your thoughts at the end.